Crafty Lady. If you're returning, welcome back. Mwah, thank you. And if you're new, mwah, to you too. I'm so happy that you guys dropped on in. I hope you consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that bell when you do. It'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Yes, it will. Okay, at the end of this video, I hope you guys do like what I make and please give me a big thumbs up. It helps my channel grow and it also lets me know that you like what I'm doing, what I'm making. And that's what this is really about. I want you guys to go and see my channel and smile with it. Whether I'm being silly, laughing, whatever, this is just who I am. This is me. Um, now, with that, yeah, enough rambling, right? I, I tend to blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, this is what I'm doing today. I was there shopping at Dollar Tree, and yeah, I seen these. I do use these for fillers and other projects and dec my decors, you know, but when I seen these today, I thought, you know what? It reminded me of our California yeah, get this. This is funny. We make here, I live in Southern California, and we make tumbleweed snowmen. Yeah, we do. So that's what it reminded me of, is a tumbleweed snowman. We put scarves, hats on them, we uh, paint them white, or we put that fake snow spray on them. You know, it's really fun. It's, that's our snowmen, yeah. Don't make fun of us. We don't snow here. But anyway... <laughs> So that's what I thought, you know, I'm going to make, I know my hair is crazy. I'm here looking at myself and my hair is crazy today. I'm sorry. It's just blah. But um, anyway, enough with the hair. I don't care. It's whatever. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a little ornament for of a, our California Dream and Snowman. I'm calling him California Dream and Snowman. This is Dreaming of Snow, you know, and oh, I rhymed like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> He's dreaming of snow, you know? But anyway, he's dreaming of the snow, and yeah, he's our little tumbleweed man. Um, my little wicker man. Yeah, like a wicker basket, wicker man. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to make a little ornament. Hopefully you guys like it. And today I'm doing two DIYs for you. Yes, I am. I'm doing my little ornament because it's really quick and easy. I know you're going to love it. And not just that, but... The other one's quick and easy too. I was in there, um, at, again, I love the Dollar Tree. I live at the Dollar Tree, love it. But I seen these stockings, and maybe you guys seen them, I don't know, but what popped in my head when I seen these stockings was throw pillows. Not throw pillows, what do I call them? Accent pillows. They remind me of little accent pillows. I, I visualized them being so cute on my rocking chair and on my other little sitting chairs I have. I thought, oh, you know what? This is going to look really cute. And it matches kind of what I'm doing in one of the rooms, the theme. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make little pillows out of these. So I brought them home, and i seen also these bells. Yeah, little jingle bells. I love them, I love them, I love them. You know, jingle, jingle, jingle. But uh, I got these little bells, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a jingle. Yeah, a jingle stocking accent pillow. I want my pillow to ring when you move it around or anything. It's just so cute. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make one of those. I hope you guys like it and give me a thumbs up. Like I said, please do. And let's get to crafting, right? Let's do this. That's what we're here for. Let's do it, do it, do it. Let's make something. Let's make something. Let's make it till we smile. Make it till we smile. I know I'm weird. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going nuts. Okay. So let's get to making our snowman first, then stocking. I hope I didn't bore you already. Please stick around and see what I make, right? I hope you guys make them. Leave comments below. Let me know which DIY you like, one or two. Let me know. Okay. You can follow me on Instagram. I am on Facebook. I'm Crafty Lainey. So come and say bye, or come and say hi, not bye. Oh my goodness, don't say bye. Please come by and say hi. That's what I meant to say. Come by, drop by, say hi. <laughs> okay, guys, love you. Thank you. And you know what? Let's go and smile and have some fun. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>
Okay guys, we're gonna start by gluing our wicker balls. That's what I'm calling them. My little wicker balls. <laughs> we're gonna glue them together and hold it on tight for a couple seconds together because it takes a little minute to glue tight. But anyway, after you glue those, I did get a scrap of fabric and I'm gonna make a little scarf for my little snowman. My little wicker snowman. <laughs> He's my little wicker snowman. I really like this little buffalo check thing going on now. It kind of grew on me. Isn't he cute? It looks so rustic and farmhousey. Homemade. It's my California dreaming snowman. So I cut a piece of the Chanel pipe cleaner and making his little nose. It's a little carrot nose. And getting the two smallest little black buttons I can find. And I just put them for his little eyes. Now he can see. Oh, he's so cute. And I got these little stickers. They're snowflake stickers from the Dollar Tree. They're really cute. They kind of remind me of gems. And I put those for his buttons on his little belly. I scraped off the backing of it peeled it off and then I just put some glue on the back of them and hot glue them. That cute. Now I'm gonna make him his little hat. So I got a little button, it's a little bigger button and I put it on the, the head Sorry, you're hearing cars go by and noise in the background. It's the weekend and yeah, people are living it up, huh? <laughs> so I get a little bit smaller. I, I show you two, but I decided to go with three buttons smaller than the bottom one. And I just build a little top hat. And then I used the little berries I used from a flower bush I wasn't using. And little Christmas berries. And they have little glitter on them. They're so cute. And I thought it put some color on my little snowman. And I put two more extra little berries by his hat. To give it some more color and festive looking. See? Now I'm adding the last button on the top of the top hat. And there he is. My little California snowman. Now these foam beads, you don't need very much. Just put a very little bit. I didn't even put very much. See that? Not a lot. You just need a tiny bit of those in there. I just wanted it to kind of look like a snow globe. And then I use the iridescent flakes. And I didn't put very much in that either. I just mixed it all in. And so now you're going to get the lid and you're going to put some glue on that. And we're going to glue our little snowman right in the center of that. And I wiggle it around so the glue will move between the sticks on the snowman on the bottom and so it will glue really tight and then after that dried it was pretty good stable you gotta pop it in yeah you gotta use a little bit of force to squeeze the little ball up a little bit and pops right in
Now I'm going to add this ribbon. It has little buffalo check, red and black, buffalo check, and little white snowflake. I thought it went really well with the project. Snowflake kind of matches his little belly, his snowflake buttons. And a ribbon reminds me of not just rustic and farmhousey. It also looks to me real traditional Christmas. And we just glue it all the way around. When we trim it, and there he is. I did add a bow on top and a button, a brown button. Uh, see, there it is. See the button and the bow I added on top. I'm sorry I lost that footage. I don't know what happened to it. But I just did a little bow, put it on the top with the little brown button. And I used some of the twine for a the string. Okay, first we're gonna start by taking stuffing. I got an old pillow. You can get stuffing from Walmart or just get a pillow from the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree, open them up, and just start stuffing your stocking. We're stuffing stockings. Stocking stuffers. <laughs> Make sure you get right into the toes, where the toe is. And I like my little throw pillows to be fluffy. So, I fill it all the way up. Yep. Close that off for my cuz I'm making two pillows. And I fold over where the fur is so I don't get any glue where the fur is and I want to see where the seam the line is so I can put glue on the bottom half. You see that? Just on the edges, the inner edges. And then I'm going to pull that down. Sorry, it's out of frame. There you go. And then I just fold on top, just pinch it on top all the way down, like a Ziploc bag. You know how you press down on a Ziploc bag? That's just how I did this. Just ran my fingers straight across. Then I seen where the little hoop was. There was a little bit. You just go with your glue gun, put a little dab of glue, close it up. And there is my little pillow. That quick, guys, it is quick. Now I wanted to put the ribbon that's on the back. You don't have to, but I did. Just to give it a little trim in the back on the top where I pinched it. Or ziplocked it. A Ziploc bag. Then we're just gonna pinch it. You guys probably seen these no so little pillows and stocking pillows before, but I don't know, I just wanted to put my own spin off on it. I don't know, I just seen it hanging at the Dollar Tree and I thought those would be really cute pillows. So just brought two home and made little pillows out of them. Fluff my little furries up. If you hear that, I'm sorry. That's my son making a smoothie in the background. I don't know if it's picking it up, but if it is, I do apologize. But hey, so-called life, right? Life goes on. Here we go. Um, I'm making a bow now to match the back. I love this ribbon. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It has like a buffalo check, red and black, and with little snowflakes. I just think it looks so rustic and farmhousey and 
tradition. It looks traditional also. Goes a long way, right? <laughs> I make a quick, easy little bow. And that's how I make my bows when I want the front and the tails to all show. I just put a dab of glue, fold it up, crisscross, and then fold it over. Now I put a dab of glue on the back of my bow and I just put it on the corner. And now I want my ribbons to cascade down, but I'm going to direct how I want my ribbons to cascade down. I don't want unruly cascading going on. And all I did was put little dots of glue in the back of the ribbon and then just where I want it to to cascade see how I how I want it to lay and stick now you could do this with any stocking it doesn't have to look like this that's what's fun about it you guys are just gonna put your own signature on it and I want you to smile when you're done because like I say make it till you smile make it really to your own what you want make it your own yeah you probably get tired of hearing me say that all the time but it's so true this is for you that quick look at that and I got me my little jingle ball jingle bell jingle ball huh. jingle bell and you want to put the glue on the ribbon, a dab of glue on the ribbon, a little bit, you know. And you put it on the ribbon, put upside down your bell. Don't lay it flat and press down. You want to hold your stocking. See how I flip it over while I glue and then flip it over? Because I want my pillow to jingle bell. I want it to be able to shake and ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I want it to have the jingle bell sound. So I'm shaking it, making sure that it's jingle belling. <laughs> and there you go. That is my stocking. My little fluffy stocking pillow, throw pillow for decor. It looks so cute. You could also hang them from your mantle or on a wall. You know, it's it's so fluffy and cute.